Hey there gentle people, it is Loy here and I haven't done a tutorial video in a long time so that is what we're going to be working on today and if you notice I have a canvas here and it's just a regular 8 by 10 canvas. You can get them super cheap at Michael's, they're always on sale. I think um, they're probably 40-50% off right now so it's just an 8 by 10 black uh, studio canvas. And I've been thinking about modeling paste a lot for some reason. So what I have here is the Liquitex modeling paste. And Golden is another brand that makes it, but I think Golden calls it molding paste. So with Liquitex, it's modeling, M-O-D-E-L-I-N-G. And with uh, Golden Paints, they call it molding, M-O-L-D-I-N-G, molding paste. And what this does is it gives your artwork a lot of texture and a lot of character and I'll just read from the back of the label it says that it's a matte opaque preparation of marble dust and polymer emulsion and it dries very very hard so it's water resistant when it's dry and the really cool thing about it is that you can mix it with color uh, you can carve in it you can sand with it and this is my first time using modeling paste. Uh, I've been thinking a lot about texture and, and wanting to, to see how I can represent that in, in my artwork. So I decided to pick some up and I got this at Michael's as well. Uh, hello, 40% off. I also have here just a simple little palette knife and if you don't have a palette knife, you can just use uh, an old credit card. And can you guess what this is? I just cut these from um, a bag of lemons. Um, I like the, the pattern um, and I thought it would provide some really cool texture. So let's go ahead. Oh wait, let me just brush this canvas off. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is decide how I want my composition. And I think, you know, you can kind of play around and kind of play around with it decide how you want um your your texture to kind of be on the canvas and hmm you just for me is is just kind of feeling it out and i always turn um my canvas in a couple different directions because i never really know which way i want it to hang so let me see i think i'll put this down a smidge more it looks like a star I don't know maybe you want to kind of figure this out before but it's it's a work in process part of the fun is kind of trying to figure out what you're going to do on on the canvas as well but you know what anyway I have no idea so let me just go ahead and start laying stuff down um, it will come as I work because it's just a process right so when you open up the modeling paste it has this very thick luscious consistency it's almost like frosting and it totally reminds me of I used to, to own a baking business a long time ago um, I used to make vegan cakes and, and sell them to to um, cafes in Chicago so this reminded me a lot of when I used to frost the cake so what you do is you just scoop some out just like that don't eat it doesn't smell too cute but just work with it so the modeling paste again is very it's very thick and it dries opaque it's not something that's going to dry translucent if you do want something to dry translucent then you can try out some of the um, they have something called gel like heavy gel I think is what it's called um, which will give you a, a translucent look but I wanted the texture of the modeling paste so turn your canvas whichever way you need to turn it so you can get it on and just layer it down I remember I said if you don't have a spatula you can always use a credit card but I like the spatula because it has the um, it has a little point at the end and you can kind of get it exactly where you want it to go so you want to give it a nice even coat not too thick and not too thin let me just whoa let me scrape some off there so if you notice I'm just kind of spreading it around and at first I was a little hesitant because I was like okay do I need to tape down um, this plastic thingy from the bag of lemons but 
the molding paste or the modeling paste actually kind of holds it so you can use stencils for this um, you can also use stamps like rubber stamps what you would do is just give um, the modeling paste just a little bit of time you can lay it down give it a little bit of time to dry and then you can just press your stamp in it when it's not too too dry and not too too wet so let me see I think I like how that looks so I'm gonna work with that for now let me just get some up off the side here whoa let me just add a smidge more right here all right so that is that and then for the second part I think let's see let us see I'm gonna lay I'm gonna lay it down like this I like that and you just add some more I remember again the modeling paste is all about adding texture and dimension to your artwork some people actually use it where they mix their paint color they mix their acrylic paint into um the modeling paste and then they just literally paint with a palette knife but i'll save that for another time because i just i don't know i was just really fascinated with this bag of lemons <laughs> or the plastic from the lemons so let's just get that done I remember I said it's just like frosting a cake and I'm gonna do a little part two video where I'll show you guys how um, I applied the paint but for now my biggest concern is just getting the modeling paste down turn it and there is no right or wrong to this is just is just how you want your thing to look right so get your paste down smooth it out and the one thing I'm not too smitten about is that there's like this little space right here I want it to come more to the edge of the canvas so I'll probably wash this modeling paste off oh here's the thing the modeling paste it again it dries hard it's not flexible when it dries so anything that you're using with the paste you make sure to wash it off as soon as you're done all right and whatever extra you have you can just wipe it off in your jar all right so what I kind of experimented with at this point in time I went ahead and used my okay y'all know I'm kind of OCD right I don't like any kind of mess whatsoever so I don't know some people have like I just keep like a little baby wipe close by some people have their tools and they're like super messy and everything is super messy I I have a smidge of OCD so I need to clean things up all the time so there is our paste make sure you lock it securely and there is our spatula all right so this is what it kind of looks like now and you have to leave it overnight for it to dry but if you're a little impatient um you can actually use a heat gun i don't know if a blow dryer will get hot enough to kind of um heat the modeling paste i don't own a blow dryer anyway um haven't used one of those things in a million years so i'll just use the heat gun for a little bit because i want you to see what it looks like when i lift it up so just pardon the noise I remember to constantly move the heat gun around because look red hot it gets very hot so just constantly keep it moving and you can kind of check it still feels a little cool to the touch so I'm just gonna heat it just a little bit more I just said a little bit I sounded like such an American 
Alright, so let me see. You can kind of check it. Just check it as you're going along. Make sure not to put your finger underneath the heat gun though because like I said, this thing gets super, super hot. So I think that is okay and here is the big reveal. Um, where should I start from? Let me start from the top. All right, here we go. And that's the first piece. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. And let me stick a pin here. What's cool about this is if you want, you can leave this and make it dry and you can actually use it as like a collage element or, you know, some texture. You can paint it or if you want to use it again, you can just wash it off. But if you plan to buy more lemons, then you have more plastic coming. But you can actually use this. Just put it aside to dry. And then let's get this other piece. And you just very gently and if you notice there's all that texture from the packaging and you just lift 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 all right and there we go and that's what it looks like let me see if I can bring it a smidge closer so even if you use a stencil um, I would say give it a little bit more time to dry because you don't want to to smudge the details of the stencil for me it didn't really matter I just wanted to get the general uh, gist of the texture but if you have the time just leave it overnight so I'm going to go ahead and pause it right here and um, wait for it to dry Try and do some painting on it and then I'll share the results with you guys in the next video all right so thank you so much for your time your presence your energy and I'll see you guys soon peace